This week, a Google Glass competitor was announced, prosthetics are becoming more amazing, and wearables can record television for you if you fall asleep. It's December 19th, I'm Daria, and this is the Redheaded Geek Show. <laughs> Doesn't it seem like smart glasses have kind of fallen off the map? Google Glass never really became embraced by consumers, and most people don't like the thought of wearing those things anyway. Big in the news this week is Sony, who is coming out with what it thinks to be a better idea anyway, an attachable accessory that can make smart glasses out of a pair of your existing glasses. That sure takes care of the styling problem. The only way I'd wear some smart glasses if they were way cute. Yeah. Dubbed the Single Lens Display Module, the system's control board includes a processor and Bluetooth attached to an OLED micro display. Your view is, of course, pictured onto your glasses. We should be hearing and seeing more about this at CES 2015, which is coming up in January. Big leaps have been made in prosthetics, and the stories surrounding them are really inspiring. Modular prosthetic limbs have recently been used on a double amputee who can now control them with his mind. The bionic arms work by being attached to a special harness that uses pattern recognition to observe muscular activity and then translate that activity into impulses and movements in the arms and hands. The model researchers claim these provide 30 degrees of motion on both sides. He first learned to control the arms with his mind by moving the arms while in a virtual reality. So when it was time to utilize them in the real world, he had some amazing practice in. Here's a silly invention some teenagers came up with, a 3D printed wristband that can sense when you fall asleep and is meant to record your TV shows when this happens. I would normally make fun of this immediately, but with Christmas coming up and everyone falling asleep on the floor from food comas, I understand it. So instead of just using your TiVo, does anyone still use TiVo? The wristband works by pausing and recording whatever is currently being watched. Two boys, 15 and 14 year olds, came up with this idea and then was commissioned by Virgin Media to develop it. How lucky are they? Cha-ching! It works by using a pulse oximeter to measure the amount of blood flow and oxygen in your wrist so when a change occurs, when you fall asleep, the device knows it. Then it can record and pause your media. Want to hear about a $174 gadget that shoots fireballs from your wrist? Haruken! Dubbed Pyro, you can actually buy this thing already. But it's not a toy, it's a professional device. Yep, a professional device that allows you to launch fireballs from your open palm. Sometimes you might need to do that in life. You load rounds of flash paper into four separate barrels and then simultaneously launch and ignite them one at a time. The ball hurls about 10 feet in front of you, then vanishes. Isn't this something magicians use? Now I can? That's your tech news for the week, guys. I cannot believe it's Christmas next week, but I'm very excited to spend some time with family. Family is very important, even if the weird ones always want to make everything about themselves. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs>